Hello everyone. So I'm going to disassemble this lock, but before I disassemble it, um, before I turn this camera on, I picked it once, and all I had to do was pick one pin here and one pin there. So I thought, well, let me show that on video. So then I go to do it on video, and then this guy gets involved, whereas before he wasn't involved at all. So I don't know what's going on with this lock and why it works like three chambers work sometimes and other times you only got one chamber working. See this one's requiring me to hit down here. There it goes. See and I opened up on on that one. I've had it open up with just touching the first two, the top pin. I get, like right before I turned this camera on, I had a click out of the top pin. And then I got a click out of the side and it opened out of this right angle. See, now I'm not getting a click at all on anything on the top one. That one turned a little bit, so now the bottom one's going to open it again. This is strange. <clears throat> Let's make sure it's reset. <clears throat> Get back in there. I felt it give on that one. And now the top one opens it. You see that? Last time the bottom one. And before this, like I said, <coughs> I opened it only using two sides. I didn't even touch that side. Anyways, we're going to take this thing apart. I may never get it back together again, so... I want to have fun with it while I can. Get my $3 out of it. <laughs> it's definitely worth the $3. You know, that one moved a little bit. That one moved a little bit. And now the top one's going to open. Or is it? No. It's a side one opened it. You see that? <laughs> it's kind of random as which pin is going to be the last one holding it up and where it's at. Strange. Anyways, I'm going to take this thing apart and we'll see what's going on. All right, here comes the fun part. Now I've got it locked. This is just the screw piece that holds the... Uh, tail piece on I mean it's just a screw and it's got little knurled pieces on it so that it grabs let me zoom this guy out no wonder I couldn't I was wondering why can't I get a picture of the whole table here because I'm zoomed in all right put that there we might need that later and let me try that uh that new Sparrow's tool and see if I got anything that corresponds with this type of C clip here. Maybe this guy. No. Mm hmm. No. We can try this. There we go. Just grabbed him and pulled him. All right, danger, Will Robinson. All right, look at the uh, look at the inside in there. So it's like a bigger diameter mashed into a smaller diameter. Let me see if we can even get this guy apart. What the hell? 
there's a little channel right down there that this whole brass piece rides in. All right, let's um, open him. And I don't think I'm going to need a shim. <laughs> I don't think I think I'm going to need like three shims. I don't have anything that small, I don't think, either as a follower. Let me try. It might work. I'd have to shim. I'm going to have to shim. What I'm going to have to do is shim each lobe of this thing. And uh, I think you can shim from the front. So let me pause this. And... All right, I found my shims. I had to go dig around for them. Empty bag. That's my future shim. It's a DVD uh, security thing. It basically has these shims in them, but they're much flimsier than the uh, Sparrows version. All right, I got a brand new bag right here. I'm just going to take three brand new little shims, run them through the front, and then we'll begin the extra fun. Which is trying to take this thing out without them falling all into little pieces everywhere. My problem is, I don't know if this is going to work. That's one of my problems. Yeah, there is a lip there. I thought maybe you could shim it from the front, but you can't. So if you look in the back here, let me zoom this guy up. Zoom. Can't zoom in this mode. What the fuck? Why can't I zoom in this mode? All right, so what I was going to try to do is shim it, but it can't be shimmed from the front. I thought maybe that was shimmable from front, but you see those three lobes right there? I basically have to put a shim over there. And a shim over there. And the reason why I need shims is look at this gap right here. A pin's definitely going to fall in there before the follower can get to it. I found a follower that I could probably use. But any pins are going to get trapped in that thing unless it's shimmed. you got to shim it from... This is one of those things that basically I would not recommend disassembling. Because getting it back together... Is gonna be damn near impossible, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna do the old school way of I don't know if it can be disassembled. It's not letting me push on it. Oop! I had to push real hard. All right. Oh look! Now we're taking the whole thing out. I wonder. I was wondering how. Oh man. Look at that. Two pins on each side. And one right here. That one's just drilled in. It's not even a... <laughs> yeah. This explains a lot. Yeah, looking inside there, there's only one pin. There's only one pin on each cylinder. So what you have, it looks like a cross lock, but you've basically got a three-pin lock that you don't even need to pick three pins on a lot of times. Let me uh, try to shim it. I don't think it's going to let me take it apart. There's a... Yeah, this one may... May not be uh, disassemblable. Ah. Uh. 
But yeah, you've got, uh, let me zoom this guy back out. So you basically just have, you don't even have drivers for uh, two pins in there. Each stack has only got one pin in it. There's one pin here. There's one pin here. And there's one pin here. So there's only three key pins in there. And it looks like this was like uh, knurled or, ah, I know what. These two guys right back here have probably got plugs that are holding uh, the core in. And that's how they're retaining it. And this one here, I guess they just decided, oh well, it's been a rough enough day. Let's just cut out, you know. Eh, close enough. It's it's holding. Because um, there's no plug in there. Let's see if I can shim this guy from the back. Yeah, you can't get past that. It's basically... I'd have to decap this. This is like a steel pin. I don't even think this is a cap. I think this is the the pin itself. A piece of steel. Weird. So you basically have a... Where's my little tensioner? Tensioner! No tensioner! We'll use you. Nope, not thick enough. I'm going to try to put one right in the middle. I'll put this guy in there. Yeah. He gobbles up all the space, but we're not going to need it. So you pick one pin. Oh. Pick another pin. Oh. And it opens. Oh, that was my tension wrench falling off. Use the proper tension wrench for this. Oh, I don't know where it went. It ran away. How about this claw? Can we use this claw? Well, you can, but now it's getting more difficult to hold. Damn it, man. Let's put him in here. I'm putting it in the device. I've got to adjust my elevation here. With my highly sophisticated stack of dominoes. There we go. Well, without all that extraneous chrome in the way and everything, we got our basic three pin lock here. The hardest part is, is tensioning this thing, figuring out how to tension it. Once you get it figured out how to tension, picking is the easy part. I thought I was dealing with at least three pins on each side. Look, they even make these fake cuts. One, two, three. And there's only one pin. <laughs> yeah. How to fool you. You just think you're getting all these pins. But in fact, you are not getting anything. All right. Let me get my right, correct tension wrench out of here. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. Get over there. Get over there. Well, I'm afraid we're not going to have a disassembly. Unless I can figure out another... Uh, I don't want to tear that thing, you know, like decap it just to prove... I already know why we're this thing is so easy to open now. So he won't move. Make sure it still works. Yes. Put this back in here. Well, it's kind of good because, you know, it was going to be a pain in the ass to, to get it put back together. Disassembling is usually no problem, but look at that. I just hit one. <laughs> I just hit one pin that time. Come on, you. Alright, 
touch that pin enough. Let's touch this pin. Let's touch this pin. Yes, so you're basically paying for a three pin lock for three dollars, a dollar a pin. And then the housing, you know, all this 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 part here probably cost the most. It's a little nice little chrome housing and a little shield, weatherproofing and all that. But yeah, all you've basically got is just a little three pin core with uh these caps back here are probably just retaining retaining ring back here i don't know why they did that there let's see if you can see it, it it's a a v shape see it goes all the way it's like it's a cone shape uh drill comes to a point down there but it doesn't reach the bottom of the core Anyway, there you go. That's the mystery behind the Chinese lock. Uh, it took longer to figure out it's a three-pin lock than it did to try to take it apart. Thank you for watching, and happy picking, everyone.